Hello everybody and welcome to a new Zoo Tycoon Let's Play video. Today it is the last of the Intermediate Marine Mania uh, scenarios. So today it is Marine Mania Aquatic Show Park Intermediate Difficulty. It says here, an animal conservation project wants to raise money by constructing a world-class aquatic park. You must build and operate a number of aquatic shows in order to maintain in order to obtain money to save the animals. Uh, we don't get a time limit, which is nice. Um, a lot of dinosaur digs and marine mania uh, scenarios don't have time limits, so as soon as you complete the objectives, you just win. The scenario ends automatically. Uh, and also you can take as long as you want, so you're not restricted by time, which makes it a lot easier and also a lot nicer, because uh, you're not sat around waiting at the end. For the scenario to end. Um, so yeah, no time limit. Objectives are $500 total profit for orca shows, bottlenose dolphin shows, California sea lion shows, sea otter shows. Those are the four main um, show exhibit, show animals. The main four animals in Marine Mania that can perform in shows. Uh, California sea lion is available in base game Zoo Tycoon but the shows are only available with Marine Mania. The other three animals have to be put in... I was going to say, well, the dolphin and the orca have to be put in tanks, the sea lion and the sea otter can be put in regular exhibits, but only with Marine Mania can any of those animals perform in shows, for obvious reasons. Uh, Great White Shark is also another animal from Marine Mania that can perform in shows, and interestingly there is a sort of Easter egg slash bug uh, I think it's more of an easter egg, where interestingly the jellyfish can actually perform in a show. It can only move up and down, um, but guests will pay to see a jellyfish show, even though the jellyfish does basically nothing. That's more of a gimmick than anything particularly useful, for this scenario anyway. Maybe later on we'll create a jellyfish show in a different scenario, just not this one. Anyway. So straight away, that's four exhibits and four different animal species. We also need um, quite a lot of objectives for this one. Six different animal species, so um, we'll have to create two other non-show exhibits. Exhibits seem to be a rating of 85 for six aquatic exhibits. That's a very low requirement. Um, Animal happiness rating of 85, again, that's very low. Guest happiness 85, also very low. Um, really, there's nothing difficult here. The main difficulty is simply having four different animal species having shows, each of which is reasonably profitable. I mean, $500 total profit, we could do that for, like, if we have what, we, as we saw from the free admission scenario, if you haven't watched that, go check it out. Um, you can actually make that much money in like a month. However, it's highly unrecommended to have four shows at the same time. In fact, really having two shows at the same time is not a good idea because, as we saw from the free admission, again, if you haven't watched it, check it out. Guests, when there's a show on, basically gravitate to the show. So what I'm basically going to have to do is either have one show tank and then sort of constantly turn off and on shows. So like, have an orca show or a dolphin show. I'm probably going to do the dolphin show first because dolphins are popular and reasonably cheap. Orcas require a bigger exhibit. They are popular, but they're quite expensive. Um, and then just turn off the show, possibly by simply just raising and lowering the exhibit tanks and then the show tanks as necessary, or just literally changing the frequency to never. Um, but we're going to need quite a big show tank. One other option is to have one big show tank and then connected to it have four regular exhibits and then have like a sort of rotation. So it'll be like, okay, there's basically always a show but what goes in that show um, varies. So, you know, 
when the dolphin show finishes, we have the orca show. When that finishes, so we have the sea lion show. When that finishes, we have the otter show. And then when that finishes, we have to go back to the dolphin show. Something like that. That's a bit more complicated, and I've never done that. But long story short is that, um, yeah, you, you don't want four shows running at the same time. I've done that before. It's a big mistake. It's doomed to failure because you will not make profit with all four shows. You probably make profit with two if you're lucky. Um, but other than that, we have no time limit, so we basically just create a profitable zoo with um, six aquatic exhibits. So unfortunately, I can't, I can't. I mean, I can build things like tigers and crocodiles, lions, camels, but they don't count to the goal. So. I'm probably not going to do them unless I have an absolute fortune saved up and a lot of extra time. And I just need something that's going to make me a lot of money. Anyway, I've rambled on for six minutes. Um, the first thing I do, as always, is delete all this extra stuff. That gives us an extra $18,656. So we start with $58,656. I mean, I could have kept some of that stuff, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to... Uh, destroy it. Control G, as always, turns on the uh, grid. Uh, I'll just flatten this terrain for simplicity's sake. All right. Uh, now I'm going to unpause the game. And guess happiness 85 is low. There's no zoo rating requirement. Um, so. I mean, I, I can basically just cheap out on the uh, path. Let's go to Sand Path for a change, because we did Dirt Path in the free admission scenario, and it's alright, but uh, Sand Path does look a lot nicer, even if it's the same price. Okay, so, I'm going to have to plan this out, because obviously... I want a big show tank that's going to have like four exhibits connected to it. I'm probably going to have to level quite a bit of terrain just to make the zoo air building area bigger. So it might be an idea actually to first of all build two good exhibits. Um, but make them not show animals. The fact I don't have a time limit makes things a lot easier as well. Because it means I technically can't fail unless I just go bankrupt or just run into a situation where I can't really do anything. Just build a path out. I don't really know how I'm going to do this, so I'm just sort of... Like most things, I don't actually really plan this out. So, I'm going to want some reasonably popular but fairly cheap um, animals. Belugas are always a good shout, they're very popular. I think they're actually the most popular animal in Marine Mania. Uh, and they're not a show animal, and they're reasonably cheap and easy to maintain, so... Uh, I think 8x10 is actually big enough. Yeah. It doesn't look very big, but I think it is big enough. It's possible I might have to, like, change depth of the tank. No, I want more animals, okay. There are two males and two females. Yeah, that's fine. They want kelp and they want rocks. Okay. So I'm just building a fairly cheap exhibit for now. And as always, if I can get the awards, uh, that will help me a lot. Oops. So for that reason, I'm going to change these to small rocks. And there you go, I've got the uh, 15,099 suitability. So, that just means that I get an extra 15,000. It's only a one-off, but obviously it will help. Um, Alright. Uh, 
first of all, let's change this up to $29, because we do want guests to come into the zoo, but we also want to make money from admissions. Um, Alright. Uh, build the second exhibit, and then we can start thinking about getting, like, um... Marine specialist and like restaurants and stuff like that. So, what do I want for the second exhibit? Hammerheads, tiger sharks. Tiger shark. Sharks are popular. Um, they require a feather duster worm. These require sea grass. Oh, uh, we have a feather duster worm. I don't know which is more popular between the tiger shark and the hammerhead shark, or even if indeed they are popular at all. I think I'm just going to go with tiger shark, because they might be more popular, even though they're more expensive. And also I think they actually require um, a bit of depth. So maybe I'll actually just go with the ha Yeah, I'm just going to go with the hammerhead. Um, because they're cheaper to adopt. Uh, and I can get away with just having two. Because I think the tiger shark possibly might want like four in the exhibit. I'm also going to need filters. And then I'm going to need a... Uh, maintenance worker to look after those filters, and I'm going to need a marine specialist to feed all these animals. Oh wow, he needs a lot more rocks, okay. Uh, I'm running out of space to put these rocks. Oh, there you go. They're complaining they want food already. So we're already at 96 suitability. These guys want a lot of rocks. I know these are only small rocks, but still. Uh, there you go, that's 100 suitability. Okay, so let's move. I can't actually move that. I can move it to there and there. Right, so Marine Specialist, he is assigned to these two exhibits. Rename this to Hammerhead Shark. And my head shirk tank. There you go. Now, we've got a few guests in the zoo, so let's get the restaurant. And we'll go for... I don't know if there's actually any difference between the Atlantean gift shop and the aquatic gift shop. Atlantean does look cool. Um, so yeah, let's go with the Atlantean, because then it'll match the... Uh, did I just read the... Oh no. We've got an ill beluga, but it's just been healed. Okay. Um, guest happiness is very low because the guests haven't really done anything. Uh, and also, to be fair, there's not really anything for the guests to do right now. Um, I mean, we have a restaurant, obviously. We have a, a uh, gift shop. $16, $10. But, you know, there's not a great deal for these guests to do. And also, when a guest comes into the zoo, I think they have 75 happiness anyway. Yeah, I mean, guests are already leaving because there's, like, basically nothing to do in the zoo. Um, we do need guest happiness 85, but that is very low and should be easy to maintain. But if not, we can always get, like, um, you know, things like Petting zoo. Unfortunately, the cot the um, com compost building in this uh, scenario is going to be basically useless because unless we can make money from like the sea lion and the sea otter, things like dolphins, belugas, orcas, you can't make money from their poo, unfortunately, because they don't poo. Um, at least not in like this game. For some reason. Um, 
Right, well, we're going to need the filter, so let's put that in a fairly uh, unobtrusive place. So that the guests can still walk around and see the animals. But also so that the maintenance worker can pair the uh, filters as necessary. Okay, so straight off the bat, all three of those buildings are making money. Now, admittedly, we've not had any upkeep yet on them. So, unfortunately, um, we probably need to build the next exhibit as a show. Um, it's not strictly necessary. Because, like I say, we can actually build more than six exhibits. Um, and technically, any exhibit over those six doesn't have to have 85 suitability. But 85 suitability is so low anyway that, you know, it's basically a given. Anything less than 85 suitability, and the animal's probably not going to be that happy. So the way that I want to do this, like I said, is I basically want to have one giant show tank... And then like four exhibits connecting to it. And I'm thinking I might build it like over here so it's still fairly close to the zoo. Um, because if I build it like over here there's probably not enough room and then I'm going to have to level some terrain. The map is actually plenty big enough. It's not huge obviously but it's plenty big enough for what we want to do. So I'll just level some terrain over here. It's going to cost us about $3,000. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's a bit dodgy. Construct a path over here. And build another path over here. I've got to admit, actually, that this sand path... Um, obviously, being mostly sand, this map this map mostly being most this map being mostly sand makes the sand path quite difficult to spot. Um also because we don't have a time limit and because we do want well eighty five guest happiness isn't a lot but um we could always build like um animal houses uh, and we'll probably do want to research some stuff. So, animal shelters we're not going to need. Staff education, not going to need yet. Animal enrichment, animal care. Animal care maybe for, like, the sea lions. I don't know if the sea otters get affected by that. Um, these, well, we're not going to need great white shark tricks. We will probably will probably will need um, better tricks. But not at the moment. Uh, so let's just research those for now. Uh, not going to need endangered animals, animal houses. Animal houses maybe if we get desperate. Exhibit foliage, no. Aquatic foliage, no. Aquatic animals, no. Aquatic houses, yes, maybe. But not right now. Okay, so... Um, Bill, can I fit an animal theatre in here? No, I cannot. No problem. I can fit an animatronic theatre here. Uh, yes. Okay. Nice. So let's do that. It doesn't make loads of money, but it does make some money. And that's good enough. Um, so where can I put the animal theatre? I could build an elephant ride. Here. And then put a path out like this way. Oops. Okay, um, and 
then Hetching Zoo. Mm, yeah, I could get Hetching Zoo. I could put Japanese Garden. If I put Japanese Garden, can I fit Petting Zoo? Uh, let's find out. Where is the Petting Zoo? No. Okay, it wouldn't fit. So let's put the Animal Theatre down. Would that fit? No. That's annoying. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. How do I want to put the animal theatre down? Okay, people are using the animatronic theatre, which is good. People are using everything else. Everything else is making profit, as it should. People are going to the elephant ride, which is nice as well. Guest happiness is increasing as well. Um, hmm. I suppose because I'm not... I mean... Can I fit four exhibits, some grandstands, and a show tank in that area? It doesn't seem big enough to me. Because the orca exhibit's going to be big. Dolphin exhibit. I don't know, to me, that doesn't seem big enough. An area. Hmm. I suppose I can try it. So let's get some dolphins going. So that's ten by... I think ten by eight? That doesn't seem big enough. Let's just get ten by ten. Okay, and we're going to want a reasonably sized show tank to actually fit everything in. Hmm. Alright. I'm still thinking. Because if I put the orcas there and the show tank sort of around here... And then maybe like the sea lions and the sea otters here. Can I fit some orcas in here? Is that going to be big enough? Okay, so that's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm, that's not... Well, 15 by... 10. That's not big enough for two walkers, unfortunately. Unless I build it like this way. That's 20. So that's 18. By 10. Hmm. A bit worried now. Okay, let's just... Hmm. I'm, I'm really having to think about this. I'm going to have to do some sort of... strange... design. I'm actually thinking I might end up having... dolphins and orcas, and then the show tank, and then just like... Over here, maybe? And then could I get away with having two show tanks, two shows running at the same time? I don't know. I mean, hmm. Alright. Let's do... That is... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
16 by 10 I'm pretty sure is not big enough for two orcas. I think two orcas require 18 by 10. Um, but they might not complain too much if it's only slightly too small. Unless I do 16 by 12, actually that would work. 16 by 12 is big enough for two orcas. That still leaves a bit of room for a show tank there, maybe. Okay, so let's do that. So this is orca tank. Yeah. I, I cannot guarantee that this will work at all, so bear with me. Even though I, I have thought about it, but to say I've thought it through is maybe a bit of an overstatement. Um, okay. Because to be quite honest, I'm, I'm still kind of a noob when it comes to marine shows. Like, obviously I've done them. I mean, I did a dolphin show for the free admission scenario. Um, okay, research all things have been completed, so... Um, I, mean, I suppose the advantage of doing the marine specialist training is that... Uh, it does mean that... Um, any show stuff that we research will research quicker. Guests still aren't very happy with overall, but I suppose maybe that's just because we've got a lot of new guests that have only just arrived. Because yeah, like new guests they only come in with 75, so that's going to massively affect guest happiness. Once guests are in the zoo for longer, they become a bit happier. That's the plan anyway. Um, and also we only really have two exhibits. So, um, I mean, we could get a tour guide as well. Alright, I don't have a lot of money, but I should have enough to build at least the dolphins. Probably not the orcas. Uh, I think two males and two females. Tank is too shallow, needs more foliage, blah 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 blah. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay, that seems fine. So, yeah, you only have to raise it by one. Kelp and rocks. And... Hopefully these guys don't require loads of rocks. There you go, that's 100 suitability. Okay. So, that's reasonably cheap. I'm going to have to require... I'm going to need, like, some kind of very strangely shaped show tank for this to work. Because of the way that these exhibits are built. But that's not an issue. Hmm. Okay. Oh. For some reason that terrain didn't level. Okay. Um, that is big enough for a show tank and then like some grandstands. Grandstands aren't... Yeah, grandstands are four squares long. And we don't need that big a grand... Or that big a show tank. The problem is, is that the sea otters and the um, sea lions will require um, an exhibit and then like a little bit of a tank. Now obviously this is, we already know that to be 10 squares long, but that's only 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so that's going to have to be like 8 by 10, which I suppose is actually big enough. Um, Alright, these guys will need another marine specialist. Okay. I 
Yeah. I could get a tour guide as well. I hope I don't run low on money, but I suppose if we do run low on money, we'll just have to get more money-making buildings. How is it that the free admission zoo made loads of money, and then, like this scenario, I'm thinking, like, hmm, I hope I don't run out of money. And yet I'm charging, like, $29 for admission fee. I suppose I had more guests come into the zoo, and then they all became benefactors, like, I did make a lot of money from awards and stuff. But yeah. No, that scenario did go really well. Okay, Animal Theatre... Um... I guess happiness 86, which is technically... Yeah, that is high enough. I hope people do actually go to the animal theatre. I'm also tempted to get a tour guide. Um, okay, it looks like people are going to the animal theatre. Because otherwise it's like, why are you going down this path? There you go. Animal theatre. Alright, so that should make a bit of money. The elephant ride's actually a lot more profitable than I thought it was going to be. Well, yeah, I suppose. In terms of guest attractions, there's not really a lot for them to do at the moment. Um, I mean, we can always, like I say, we can always get the petting zoo. The Japanese garden is pretty big and I can put that... Yeah, I can actually just slot that in there. Nice little slot for one. Um, can I fit anything in there? Maybe petting zoo? No, I can't fit the petting zoo in. But I could actually fit a prairie dog cafe. Because the prairie dog cafe is actually really small. Um, I suppose actually I'm spending a lot of money on training. Let's get a tour guide. Just one tour guide. Okay, let's get some orcas. And then after that I'm really going to have to start thinking about, like, money. Um, the obvious thing would be then to build the show. Okay, I'm thinking, yeah, tank is too shallow. Is that fine? Nope. I, I will get the, um... 10,000 emergency donation as well, so that will obviously help. Okay, orcas like seaweed, and obviously they're going to like rocks. Uh, that is seaweed. To be fair, marine animals are generally quite expensive. Because... But I suppose you don't... The advent... They generally require reasonably large... Well, I was going to say, they generally require reasonably large exhibits. Not really, it's just the author. Um, adoption fees are kind of the same. Marine specialists get paid the same as... Um, zookeepers. But I think where they become expensive is that maybe their foliage is more expensive and they do require a lot of rocks. Okay, 92 suitability, that is fine. Um, we are going to need this orca to do this tank as well, and we're actually going to... Yeah, there you go. Plonk him down in there. This is going to be dolphin tank. Now I need to start thinking about making more money. Um, wow, the animal theatre is actually making a lot of money. We do actually have a lot of guests in the zoo. Well, 167. I mean, numerically it's not that not that much, but um, it just looks like a lot. Um, yeah, I've got filters on every tank. I think I probably have enough to build a small show tank. Yeah. That's probably big enough. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna want oops some grandstands. And there you go, that emergency donation will help tremendously. Um Where do I want to put the filter for this tank? Because I don't want to put it there, because that's where I'm going to put the sea lions and the sea otters. Okay. I guess we'll just put it like here. Alright. And then. to make this tank deeper. Now, please tell me... Hold up. The dolphins can't get into the show tank, even though it is the same depth. Hold up. Okay, we've got quality animal care for 5,000. Right, so I'm going to have to rethink this then. That's very annoying. Right, I'm going to have to make some kind of... Right, so that is now... merged. The, the, the orcas can come in, but... the dolphins can't? Have I got to change this manually, like... Species Orca? No, it's not letting me put the dolphins in. Oh my god. What is going on? I think I know the problem. Okay, that... Still hasn't... I see the fucking problem, right. Okay. Okay, if this doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to abandon this idea. And that's going to be very frustrating for me. <sighs> I'm spending an absolute fortune on this. I don't have this sort of money, like... Oh. Hold up. Why are the dolphins not cooperating? Okay, now they're cooperating when I have no money for. Your zoo is running low on money. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> it's fine. Okay, um, so this is the Orca show, which is going to be like the worst show in the world. Okay, so, <sighs> we do have an Orca show, um, it's rubbish because we have no money and I've also realised I'm going to need another marine specialist which I can't afford Wow! Good thing there's no time limit in this scenario What an absolute train wreck Okay, um... Put in the signs to the show tank. I'll be very surprised if people actually go to this show because it, it looks awful. <laughs> right. Ok, 
Okay. This, this probably isn't actually big enough either, really, for me to do much with it. Play with ball. Play with ball. Um, right. Sideways bridge we've got. Beach on stage. Let's put that in twice. Okay. Spray water. Let's put that in. Oh, we've already got that. Uh... Reverse breach, we can't do anything. Okay, 42 isn't bad, to be fair. Um, it's just I'd be very surprised if people actually go to this. Because, yeah, this, this is a fucking train wreck. Like... Jesus Christ. Well, people are going to it, but um, it's probably going to make a loss for a bit. I just wish I could make it a bit easier to get to the grandstands, but there's not really anything I can do, unfortunately. Oh, wow, people are... Yeah, people just gravitate to these things. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop researching this for now, because I'd need money. Um, right, money-making buildings that I haven't yet already built, that I could build. Shark Tunnel, maybe. Um, can I build that here? No, it doesn't fit. I just realised, actually, as well, that I probably want to build, like, a restaurant over here as well. I could another lobby's restaurant when I get the money. Or maybe just like a restaurant restaurant. Or Prairie Dog Cafe, actually. I could build that. Okay. Let's build a Prairie Dog Cafe. Uh, hold on. Because I'm going to want some grand, more grandstands, actually. Because, wow, a lot of people are going to this orca show. I didn't think this would be that popular, but... Wow, people just love a show in this game. To the point where people will just spend... Like, people will literally go to the zoo to watch the show and they're not bothered about anything else. This is going to be sold out. Like, how much money is this making? I don't know, that's a dolphin. Somehow the dolphin show has actually made a bit of money. Oh, wait. Oh, that's confusing. Hold up. Dolphin's saying 117.5. Okay, this is confusing. The show... Like... I thought it would show finances for each one, but it just shows finances for everything. Um... But, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to need more grandstands, because this is actually, like, sold out. Wow, these, these guys... Yeah, these guys want to go to the show, but I don't have any money for more grandstands. That's kind of ridiculous. Like I said, it's a very good thing this doesn't have a time limit. And also, actually, I've just realised, I don't know if sea lions and sea otters actually count towards aquatic exhibits. We've got a lot of hungry exhibits. Man, I wish I could put a prairie dog cafe down. Or even just, like, Lobby's Restaurant, which is obviously a bit more expensive, but... Actually, think about it. Restaurant's 2200, prairie dog cafe is 1900. Uh, Lobby's is 2,000. How much is the Rainforest Restaurant? 1,800. Yeah, Rainforest Restaurant is a bit overpowered. Like, it's it's the cheapest to buy, and I think you can actually just, like, charge the same amount. Prairie Dog Cafe, you can't charge as much. 
Okay. Um, can I get any dolphin ball, dolphin hoop? No, they're both too much. Man. I have serious money issues right now. This is crazy. I was fine when it was the... Um, free admission. I mean, I've got loads of guests here that want the toilet and want food, and there's, like, nothing I can do. All I can do would be to, like, put, like, a burger stand or something, maybe. Would that work? Like, can I just put, like, a fancy burger stand here or a fancy pizza stand? I guess that would work. Guys. Eh. Uh, it's not worth it, actually, like. If I can make eighteen hundred dollars, is this zoo actually profitable? Like, in all seriousness, is this zoo profitable? Let's just look at Jew. Private donations. That was for the five thousand for the quasi animal care. We did make a lot in recycling benefits, so let's cancel down ninety eight hundred. No, we are we are making money as a zoo, quite a lot of money actually. Okay. Um. Let's put down a lobby's restaurant here. Charge $16 for it. People probably won't use it much right now. Although people are actually using it now. But when the next show comes, it, like, following the next show, this path is going to be very crowded, I just realised. Um, I thought people might... Yeah, people probably want to use that path more. Um, so yeah, when the next show is... Because uh, presumably... I don't know if it's going to be another orca show or if it's going to be a dolphin show. I'm not really going to have much room for the sea lion and sea otter type stuff. I mean, I don't have any money at the moment. Sea lion, sea lion, sea lion, sea otter, sea otter. Yeah. So a show is starting, and it's looking like dolphins. Yeah. Okay, so... Unfortunately, the dolphin show is actually really rubbish. Oh, as soon as I do that, the show ends. So, yeah, basically, once I change the show, the show just ends. That's a lesson learnt. Uh, these people are clapping anyway, even though the show was absolutely awful. Um, I might actually set this to continuous, because... When we're going to have, like, four... Uh, four things in here. Four species, then... Uh, whoa. Okay. Right, that's fine. Yeah, when we've got four species in here, like then these shows, even though, like, we've only got two... We've got two species in here at the moment, right? These shows aren't actually that frequent. There was quite a bit of a wait between the orca show and the dolphin show. Oh. Okay, now I've got 11 grandstands. Hopefully these shows won't just, like, sell out. The dolphin show still isn't great, but there's not really... I was going to say, there's not really much I can do about that. I can change it up. Oh, now it's orcas. Okay. So yeah, basically it goes orcas, dolphins, orcans, dolphins, and we did technically have a dolphin show, even though I ended it after literally 10 seconds. Um, it's fine. 
basically I just need um, I just now kind of need enough money so that I'm not going to have enough room no, I'm not going to have enough room to build um, sea lions and sea otters here definitely not so, in that case, I could build something like uh, just something that makes money, or just even something that increases like guest happiness, because we are going to get a lot of guests over here. Maybe like an animal house, like the aquarium or crustacean house, because obviously this restaurant is eventually going to make a lot of money once these guys kind of become hungry and tired after the show. Or shows. These tanks are looking tad dirty, but I think they're fine. No, they are. They are fine. Uh, are there any money-making buildings I can make? I can make, build. Besides, maybe like the shark tunnel, which I, I am still on the fence about because. Whether it makes money or not, I don't really know. I, mean, I could build like another carousel. Um, maybe another animal theatre. I'm going to need to make this sand, actually, to be honest. Yeah, it does cost quite a bit of money. Wow. Even with the extra grandstands, though, this show is like almost sold out. I mean, I just start researching the um, houses. I don't know. Because animal houses do increase guest happiness, but the question is, is like, will they actually go to them when they're just going to these shows? Okay, we've hit $500 for the Orca show. I really wish there was a... Oh, hang on. Okay, so... Hold on. I... I wish there was a way to find out how much... Um, each of these is actually making. Because the finances shows for um, the tank as a whole. So it's just saying like 736, which is obviously for everything. Hmm. Technically, I can put more grandstands in. Um, and actually, like... Hmm. For these guests... I'm thinking... Um, do I want the shark tunnel? Like, the problem with the shark tunnel is you can only charge about $3 for it. And it's like, does it actually make money? Hmm, wow, that path is going to be so crowded, but there's not really anything I can do about that. This restaurant's going to make a fortune, though. Um, and also, to be fair, like if they want to watch another show, then it's like, hey, yeah, uh, we've got another show going on. Uh, it's the Dolphins. I might change that to frequent if it gets a bit excessive. It depends if people go to this show or not. People are going to the show, actually. People are already buying tickets. Um, oh, guest happiness is only 82. We do have a lot of hungry guests. Guests that need the toilet. The restaurant might not actually... One restaurant might not actually be enough for all these people. We might actually end up needing another restaurant over here. Right. 
Yeah, like I say, I haven't played this scenario in, like, years, so... Hmm... I'm thinking... I can't build because there's something in the way. Hey? Eh? Must just be like a guest or something. Yeah, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a cafe over here because there's loads of guests come over this way for the shows. So some of them must be hungry. Oh, I've seen everything in the zoo. I have to leave now. Well, that's kind of annoying because you're hungry, but uh, you don't want to go to the cafe. Hmm. Well, we do have a lot of hungry guests over here. So hopefully somebody will use the cafe. There's not currently a show on, although people are already buying tickets for what appears to be a non-existent sh Oh, there you go. Orcas? Yeah, orcas. Okay. I think... Okay, people are using the cafe now. It just took a bit of a delay. Hmm. I think this will all be okay, but I'm really not sure because I am sort of, sort of playing this by ear. Um, and I don't honestly really know what I'm doing, <laughs> in case it isn't obvious by now. I'm honestly really just glad that this scenario doesn't have a time limit, because I can see this actually taking quite a while. Yeah, if we just look at August as an example, Zoo's making about $5,000 a month, which is not a lot really, but then Hmm. We don't have a... I mean, we've got quite a lot of guests. We don't have a lot of zoo benefactors. Um... I don't really have any money to do anything, really. Zoo rating is only 82. Animals are happy enough. The guests just aren't very happy. I don't really know why, like... Is it, are they like new guests to the zoo, or are they just kind of bored? Maybe marine animals just aren't as popular as, uh... Oh, there you go, belugas have red, and there's too many of them. So that won't have been making animals happy. And therefore, it probably won't have been making the guests very happy. The hammerheads. Yeah. I don't know, really. We only have 81 zoo rating, but we don't need zoo rating, but... I am a bit worried about guest happiness. I just hope that the guests actually... ...stay happy enough. Um. Hang on. If I destroy that path, I can put in two more grandstands there. Destroy that path and that path. And then destroy this little bit of path, and then put another grandstand there. And then that is the absolute limit. I can't put any more grandstands in. So if you can't get a ticket to the show now, then there's not really anything I can do. One thing I can do is put in some scenery. And also I can get, like, the Japanese garden and the petting zoo. They don't make money, but they will increase guest happiness. Um, the question is, is, where do I actually want to put them? I'm assuming that the dolphin shows are making money, it's just... Oh, hang on, I've already got the Japanese garden. Right, well, I can put a petting zoo over here, nonetheless. Um... I think I might actually build the shark tunnel. 
and just put it. Uh, hold on. Ooh. Might not have enough space at the moment. So all of these guys will come over here. Come over. So these guys are coming over this way. Hmm. Huh. Presumably, that yeah, they're quite hungry. So if I build a restaurant over here, my God, I'm gonna have loads of restaurants. Ooh. Okay, I could build the shop wall there, but it doesn't actually fit. So I've actually got like four eating places now. Yeah, I've got two lobbies, one prairie, and a zoo tycoon restaurant. Wow. I just hope people actually use this, because four restaurants, it's a lot. Like, people shouldn't be complaining about having a place to eat anymore. Oh, what? Why did the dolphin show end immediately? Hold up. I think... I suppose I can use this bit now for the show tank. And then... I can't make this any deeper, so I've actually run out of money. Yes. Okay. Right. I think the problem is that the dolphins came in, and then because of the location of that dolphin ball, maybe, that was creating problems. Like, they couldn't actually properly get in. Oh, that's an orca ball. Oh. Whoops. I really don't... I don't know, honestly. So... No, I really don't know. I, I just hope that they can actually, like, get in now. Have I got to... Recreate this sh show? 42... No, it seems to be fine. 28 thing. Cloud ball, cloud ball, tail walk. I can put another tail walk on. Flip, flip. Okay, so. These dolphin shows really aren't doing well. The orca show seems. Oh no, now it is dolphin show. With four dolphins. And they are actually doing a proper show. Yeah, I think the problem was is that the show tank was so close to the dolphin tank. The dolphins couldn't actually do the proper show because there wasn't enough space. So it just kind of ended immediately. The restaurant is making a bit of money, but it's actually making a loss because of the upkeep. Guests are really unhappy. Wow, this, this is not going at all how I expected. Uh, I've got to say, this is not going well. Um, Alright, let's get a petting zoo. Let's put the petting zoo... Here... Here... Guests are really unhappy. Okay, that blue is now grown off. How many sharks can't find any food? Well, you need to feed it then, don't you? Which you just have. Right. Just talk and talk, 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 show time. Okay. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. I'm wondering if I need another tour guide or something, because... Guests are just really unhappy. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know what to do, to be honest. I feel like I'm not making that much money, but then all the buildings themselves are, are profitable. But the guests just really are not happy, and I don't know why, and I think it's because of the shows. So, let's put some money... Alright, let's put some money into researching these aquatic houses. Probably a mistake, but hey-ho, what can you do? I don't want staff education, but I do want dolphin and orca tricks. Right, that's going to cost me a lot of money, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Let's just put a bit of scenery in as well. Let's put a fountain there. That'll make guests a bit happier. Um, well, I really can't see these paths either. Like, <laughs> If I had more money, I would change the paths up, actually, because this is kind of getting annoying, not being able to see paths. They just blend in too well with the sand terrain. Yeah, I think the problem is, is that these guests are becoming unhappy because they're spending all their time at the show, which is increasing their happiness. But they're also becoming unhappy because they're becoming like hungry and tired and they need um, toilet and everything. But then obviously that's what the restaurants are for. But they're also not seeing that many exhibits and animals and stuff. Okay, belly flop is now available. I'm guessing that's a dolphin trick? Yeah. I don't want to put it in now for fear that it'll end the orca show. Um, but this is a bit, I've got to admit, this is a bit of a worry if the guests stay unhappy. sure what to do about that. Okay, Tropical Aquarium is now available. It's probably a mistake to research animal houses, but hey ho, I'm going to get them anyway. Um, yeah, put it there. It does fit, obviously, which is nice. Whether people will go to it or not, I don't know, but um, by its, on its own, if we just have Clownfish of the Pacific, then anyone who goes to it gets a 6 happiness rating bonus, and it doesn't actually cost us any um, upkeep cost on its own like that. That's, that's fine. Um, man, I really don't know what to do, because I'm kind of in a perpetual state of not actually having much money even though the zoo is profitable. Hmm. Oh wow, the Prairie Dog Cafe is actually making a small loss. If I increase it to $12, maybe it'll make money, but I might end up having to sell this. This restaurant is making a small profit. Let's increase that to $17. Let's actually increase that to $17 as well. And then, uh, let's increase that to $17. Yeah, I think four eating places is probably overkill. Um, because we don't have a, even though like a lot of the guests are sort of like hungry, thirsty, etc. We don't actually have loads of guests. We're we still getting new guests coming into the... No. Mm, yeah, we are getting guests coming to the zoo. Procession house now available. Um, okay, annoyingly I can't fit it in there. People are going to the aquarium. Okay, we've done $500 for both of those. I'm going to change this from 
continuous to frequent because I think people are getting a bit fed up of these shows. Um, group jump, play with ball, group jump, play with ball, tail walk, tail walk, flip, flip, jump, belly flop. Jump. Um, reverse breach. That must be for the orcas. Okay. A sideways breach. Sideways breach. Beach on stage. Beach on stage. Reverse tail walking. Spray water. Oh, we've got that twice already. Sideways breach. We've got one of those. Reverse breach, right, so... That is plus four, plus four. Right, so the orca show is pretty long. Dolphin show is also pretty long, and I think there's not really much I can do with that. Um, they'll still make money, it just means that people don't spend all their time at the shows. Saying that, people are still very unhappy overall. I feel like our Prairie Dog is making a bit more. Um, Prairie Dog Cafe is making a bit more money now. Uh, can we fit a duck pond in there? Yes, I can, and it fits perfectly. Uh, I can show guests at least, and foliage. Buildings, yeah, okay. I think just putting a bit of scenery will actually increase the guest happiness a bit. I feel like I can maybe put something in here, but what exactly, I don't know. Um, the station house, does that fit? It does fit. Whether that's a good place to put it or not, I don't know. Uh, let's actually put it over here. And then that way I can put in more paths. I suppose the thing is, is that once we stop researching, that will save us a bit of money as well. And also, like, the bigger the zoo, then the more people will hopefully become benefactors and it'll just increase people's happiness anyway. Um, alright. Just building random um, scenery stuff there now. Oh, actually, I can build like exhibit signs and stuff like that because they're really cheap. Zoom map. Where's that? There it is. I'd like to believe that the zoom map tells people where everything is in the zoo, so therefore they're not just wandering around aimlessly, they're actually going to things that they want to go, but I doubt that the AI in this game is that intelligent. Um, but maybe they are, I don't know. Uh, right. Yeah, let's just... Okay, people are definitely going to this, which is good. And people are going to the Crustacean House, which is also good. But saying that, the guests still are generally pretty unhappy. I thought 85 um, guest happiness would be a piece of cake, considering I've had like 95 from the free admission scenario. Uh, but it turns out that uh, 85 guest happiness for this one just might be a bit of a challenge, which is embarrassing really. Uh, right. Okay, I'm considering getting rid of this Prairie Dog Cafe because it's just not turning a profit. And I really don't know why. Like, I really don't know why. Uh, let's get a Sphinx statue or a big horn statue. No, let's get a Sphinx statue. Okay.
Okay, so... I think I've now researched... All... Yeah, I've researched all, like, the conservation stuff that I'm going to need. So I can get rid of that. That'll save us a bit of money. Uh, I've actually researched everything here as well, so... Unless I want to get sea otter... Sea lion tricks we don't need. Sea otter tricks... The, they can be researched. Um, which is interesting. Oh, God damn it! it's doing that weird thing again. It's... Yeah, like, sometimes when you click on an animal house to tell you how many visitors go to it each month, it sort of stays there and gets a bit glitched. Okay. Um... Yes, yeah, so money is a bit of an issue, uh, which is worrying, I've got to admit. But also, um, yeah, guest happiness is worrying. I can actually increase the guest happiness sort of artificially by stopping guests coming into the zoo. Um, because like obviously this guy's just come to the zoo, he's only got 72 happiness. Um, yeah. Prairie Dog Cafe has finally turned a profit. I really don't know what to do, because, hmm, I'm going to build the shark tunnel and just see what happens. Like, if it makes a profit, great. If it doesn't, then I'll just end up having to sell it. Uh, let's put it here. Seems as good a place as any, because it is quite a busy area. Uh, path, path. I mean, I could build, like, the swim shack as well, but, uh... Actually, let's make that three dollars. I could build the swim shack, but, like, I don't know where I would put it. People don't seem to be going to these shows as much anymore, and I don't know why, because earlier they were, like, sold out. But now, people don't seem to care as much, and I'm... I don't know. Maybe they're just spending all their time doing other things? One angry guest. Uh, I think guests just become unhappy when they've kind of done everything and they've seen everything. Why? I don't really know. It's like you've seen everything in the zoo, so you're going to go home. But then they just become angry, even though they're not tired, they're not hungry, they're not thirsty, they don't need the toilet. No, it's a bit weird, that. Yeah. Don't know. It's a weird one. Alright. Um. People are going to the shark tunnel, but it's not making a tremendous amount of profit. Because obviously it's like brand new, and unfortunately I'm going to have to pay for upkeep. Right. <sighs> if I had more money, oh, actually that's the that's the zoo limit. Right. I was going to say if I had more money, I would start to build the sea otter exhibit, which I can build like over here. But again, unfortunately, I'm going to need to build the exhibit, which is going to cost a bit of money. I'm also going to need a zookeeper, and I'm going to need a show tank, so I'm going to need a lot of money, honestly. This could end up being a very long scenario, and I feel like I've not played this very well. I feel like this should be a lot easier than it's ended up being, especially with the guest happiness. Why is that so low? What can I do for that? Like, I thought belugas and hammerheads would be quite popular.
Hmm. I really don't know. Okay, well... I can start to build up the... Um, sea Otter exhibit. They will want like a sort of combined exhibit. Um, I don't have to make this enormous though. I can make it like 10 by about 8. And then combined exhibits are a bit weird. And then I'm going to need a bit of tank. So obviously that's not a proper exhibit. And I'm out of money. Okay. And then that's going to need to be lowered down like that. And then I think think you need like zoo tycoon exhibit fencing around that but I'm not certain although annoyingly that tank is going to need a filter so I still think this is going really badly even though I'm technically satisfying the objectives, I've done the dolphin and orcas. And I do now have 85 exhibits into the... 85, um... going to increase that to 350. I do have... God, I was going to say I have 85 guest happiness, but I don't anymore. We're getting some benefactors, which means that the donation money will start to come in. The only other thing I could get that would maybe make some money would be like the swim shack. And then like swim with dolphins. But A, where would I put it? And B, would it actually make money? I don't know. I think also, by having the combined exhibit, I've actually made this way bigger than I needed to. But, hey-ho. Um, let's go for... Sea lions or sea otters? Sea otters is 800. Sea lions... 700. Okay, let's go for sea lions. I just hope these guys can't actually escape. These guys don't require a shelter, I don't think. I forget their exact terrain, terrain requirements. Uh, we are going to need a zookeeper. Walter Reed, he needs salt water, grey stone. Okay. Well, the fact they haven't escaped immediately makes me hopeful. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough money for this, am I? Ah, fuck's sake. This is actually really depressing. Okay, that's probably actually way too much. Yeah, fuck. I've just accepted all that grey stone and then just realised that is way, way too much grey stone. So I've actually spent... I've actually basically wasted a load of money on buying grey stone terrain that I'm then going to have to spend more money to convert to salt water. And these sea lions are going to be really unhappy. Oh man. Okay, I've massively, massively fucked up here. Oh Jesus. When was the last time I saved the game as well? I don't know. Because <laughs> I was thinking like, oh I could just reload the save. And then I realised I probably saved like three months ago. Well, I might as well save now. Actually, uh... Wow, yeah, last time I saved was um, 17 minutes ago. Alright. 
I guess we're stuck with this train wreck. Like I said, I'm so glad this scenario does not have a time limit, because if it had a time limit of like two years, I don't think I would do this. This zoo is making money. It, this is what I don't understand, like... The free admission zoo... ...made a fortune. But this zoo... ...even though we're making like... ...four thousand, four and a half thousand a month... ...in admission costs... ...is struggling for money. Why? <laughs> Seriously, there's, there's, the zoo rating is really low. Animal happiness only 91. Uh, okay, yeah, these guys are obviously very unhappy. Alright, let's try and fix this as quickly as possible. Annoyingly, the zookeeper put the fish down in, like, the most awkward place. Alright. Um. Wow, I put down way too much grey stone. Okay, I'm hoping that these sea lions just eat these fish as quickly as possible so I can get rid of that uh, sand. Uh, rocked rocks. And I'm also going to need uh, water lilies. No, water. Water water reeds, I think it was. Do you like water lilies? Because they're cheaper. Yeah, they do. Excellent. That's what you're going to get then. Wow, I'm completely, utterly broke. Okay, they are actually technically happy enough. Um, and they don't seem to be able to escape, which is good. So this will be Sea Lion Tank. And this is Sea Lion Exhibit. Right. Um... Two spells the eighty six. Yeah. Normally you don't actually have to build this little bit of a tank for them, like the combined exhibit. But because we're gonna to need to have these guys in shows, then I do unfortunately need this little bit of a tank. Which also necessitates the use of a filter. Um Yeah, I was, I was trying to figure out how much the filter upkeep was, but I don't know if it's, like, not the same every month, or if it's just that they were only showing me, like, the filter costs um, for all the filters and not just that one filter in particular. We are definitely making a profit. It just feels like I don't have much money right now. I think because I'm constantly spending money on things. I think sea lions are generally quite popular, which does help. I just wish I could get more money for, like, um, like award money. But unfortunately, unless I get 95 guest happiness, which is basically not going to happen. Um, there's not really anything I can do. And also, once these fish go away, then I'll have to convert that sand into uh, salt water. Uh, which should then give 100 suitability. That's the plan, at least. But 
But why the guests are so unhappy, I really don't know. And I can only assume it's because of all these shows. Hmm. I still don't actually know if that counts as an aquatic exhibit or not. Oh great, one of the dolphins is ill. Uh, where's the marine specialist? Dolphin tank, orca tank. Alright, well, zookeeper will be assigned to this. Recording for an hour and a half. Once I get to two hours, I'm obviously going to have to stop and cut. So that's just something to bear in mind that this might end up being two parts. In fact, it it will end up being two parts. When I stop and cut, I don't know. Um. So obviously I still need to build the sea lion exhibit. Just realised actually what I've done. Not the sea lion exhibit. I need to build the show tank. Um Which I'm going to build like over here and then like have a similar sort of setup to how I've got over here. Um, but I'm. Wow. I'm surprised this is making a loss. I'm going to increase it to 13. I've increased it to $13. But in all honesty, I might end up having to sell this because it is making a loss, but it's only making a small loss each month, and it will be making guests not hungry anymore. Hmm. I thought more people might be going to these animal houses, but... I think these guests... I, I, I really think these animal shows might be messing up with the Guest happiness. Which is really dumb. But I can't think why else the guests are so unhappy in general. Because I've got the petting zoo, I've got the Japanese garden. Even the shark tunnels actually making a small profit. I've got Crustacean House, I've got the aqua the aquarium. Um, the animals are happy. Is it just because there's not enough variety? Because we only have four, or five now, exhibits. Yes, so we're going a bit more happy. I really don't know. I've got the Japanese garden, I've got the petting zoo, I've got the animal theatre, I've got the aquarium and the crustacean house, I've got the restaurants, I've got the carousel, I've got the animatronic theatre, I've got the gift sand, I've got everything the guests could want, everything that I had in the free admission zoo, where I had like 95 guest happiness. Do guests complain if paths are crowded, maybe? I mean, like, this, this guest has just been to see us a show, and yet, like, they're really unhappy, and I suppose it's just because they're really hungry and everything, but... I really don't know. I'm just glad that... Hmm, I don't know, man. It's, it's just a mess, honestly. Um... Right, let's build a small... show tank. I'm also going to need a, um... Uh, 
Marine Specialist again. Okay. Alright. So, one Marine Specialist will be assigned to this show tank. Uh, right. Hold up. Uh, I can't put an advanced trick area in. So these are sea lines, obviously. Sea line raft, sea line raft, sea line squeeze horn, sea line squeeze horn. Uh, sea line beach ball. And I've just lost a load of money for some reason. Okay. Oh, as it happens, you don't actually need a, um... Wait, how much are we charging for dolphins and orcas? I was going to say, as it happens, you can't put in the advanced trick area for the sea lions, because it requires a diva tank. But as it happens, you don't need one anyway. Um, this tank's going to need a filter. Uh, let's put that there. Uh, you you can't build one because it needs a deeper tank, but you don't need one anyway, because there aren't any... Um... There aren't any tricks for the sea lines that necessitate the need for one. Breach, surface, spin... Where's the crowd? Play with squeeze horn, play with beach ball, okay, and then just do everything again twice, or again, like once more. All right, I say, right, breach, play with squeeze horn, play with beach ball, surface spin, wave to crowd, but wave to crowd first, okay. Then, surface spin, then put in another wave to crowd, surface spin, and then another wave to crowd, wood, yeah, uh, yeah let's just do it, no, not breach, go squeeze horn, yeah. Play with squeeze horn. Nope. So for spin. Yeah, there you go. So that's 34 guest happiness. Um, and we're out of money. Guest happiness has gone down to 83. Why? I have no idea. I'm going to increase this to $49 because we are getting a lot of guests coming into the zoo at $29, so I think at $49 we should still have guests come into the zoo. Um, okay, we've got three orcas now, so let's sell that orca. Because three orcas means that the exhibit is uh, not big enough. Oh. Ooh. This is going to be a problem. Okay, the show has just ended in this tank. But unfortunately, we're going to get a tank or a show in uh, the sea lines. And I don't know how this is going to go. I hope people will actually go to the show. I'm also going to get another sea lion beach ball. Um, I hope people will actually go to this show. People do seem to be going there, but very, very slowly. Yeah, this Prairie Dog Cafe does not want to make a profit. I think it's just because we've got so many eating places already that people aren't actually going to the Prairie Dog Cafe. 
I'm thinking I can get another tour guide, maybe. Uh, that could actually help. Let's get another two tour guides. Save the game. Okay, people do seem to be wanting to go over to the um, Sea Line show. Hopefully, all these people will actually be able to. Hmm, that's annoying. We've got these show tanks as well. I'm going to change this to infrequent because I've got two, I've, I've now got like two shows basically running at the same time. And that's a really bad idea, because right at the start of the video, I said, don't do that. Um, okay. Yeah. I love that. I would pay to see this show. This is awesome. I, I, like... Okay, there's a lot of people seemingly wanting to go to see the sea lions. He's complaining that this particular grandstand is too crowded, but I did just build a load of grandstands. I think these I think the people are getting a bit confused because they went over to buy a ticket for the show when there were only like five or six grandstands. Saw that it was too crowded and they're like, nah, I'm not gonna buy a ticket. But then obviously I just built a load of grandstands. I don't think they're actually going to get used. I think these people are very confused. And can't really see that I've just built a load of new grandstands. So I don't think any of these grandstands are going to get used until I have another show. Which is really dumb. And very unfortunate. Yeah, none of these grandstands are getting used, even though they're perfectly available. Wow, that is dumb. Alright. Now, question. We're going to get a load of guests over here. Do I build a Prairie Dog Cafe over here for all of these hungry, possibly, possibly hungry guests? I mean, we do have a lot of hungry guests. I'm going to build a... Yeah, I'm going to build like a Prairie Dog Cafe. Don't think I can fit a rainforest restaurant in here. No, I'll build I'll build a prairie cafe. And charge twelve dollars for it. And hopefully it'll make some money. Just put in a bit of scenery. Duck pond's gonna be too big. Um hmm. annoyingly there's not a lot of three by three scenery besides like fountains and stuff. Okay, people are going to this Prairie Dog Cafe. Man, I wish this Sea Lion show would hurry up and end so that I could get another Sea Lion show. And then people would actually go to the show. I guess if nothing else, this has actually made a bit of money. And it's encouraged people to go over to this area. And annoyingly, I've had to pay for the upkeep on the cafe. Um, hmm. Yeah, I know, I know I keep saying it, but I'm so glad this scenario doesn't have a time limit, because uh, this is kind of turning into a bit of a train wreck. I've made a lot of mistakes this scenario. Uh, on the plus side, wow, gift tap is 77, Jesus, oh my god. So many hungry, thirsty, tired, angry guests. Jesus. Okay, the show was ended in the sea lion time. Right. Yeah. Having this at infrequent is a good idea, and I might actually just turn it off. But then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pay upkeep for it, and it's not going to bring in any money. And I do need money. But yeah, wow. 
There are lots of hungry guests. There are lots of hungry guests. I'm hoping that they'll go to this cafe. Oh god, this is a... This is an absolute train wreck. This is going so badly. Okay, Marine Specialist will be starting to show in the sea line tank shortly. But will anyone actually go to it? That is the question. Jesus. This is so bad. And also, we're not actually getting people coming to the sh to the zoo. I might have to set this back down to $29, you know. God. Guest happiness is awful right now. I remember having problems with this scenario in the past when I did it. Like, years ago. But... Looking at it now, I honestly thought this would be way easier than it's proving to be. This is... This is bad. Like... This is real bad. This is proper bad. Um... Okay. I can see we've got a lot of beluga. There were six beluga in this exhibit. Um, that show was pretty good. Hmm. If only I knew which show you were actually talking about. Yeah, I have half a mind to stop the dolphin orca shows because I set them to infrequent because I don't want to lose money from them and I don't want to destroy the tank in case that then fails the objective you see if I just set it to never then I'm still going to have to pay upkeep for all these grandstands and everything and the show tank and everything. And I'm not going to make any money from shows that I don't run. If I set them to infrequent, they should still make money, but the guests might not become so unhappy. I think that is the problem, is that... The shows are just ruining the guests' happiness because they're getting so confused. I can't think of any other reason why they're so miserable. They're so, like, hungry and tired and thirsty and everything. I think after all these guests go to the Sea Lion Show, I'm actually going to make enough money from the Sea Lion Show to satisfy the objective, because I only need 500. Oh, God. This is, this is really, really not good. I still need the sea otters as well. I've got the sea lions and the sea otters. Guest happiness 85. Suitability 85 for 6 exhibits. Assuming that the sea lions and the sea otters do count, then that's not an issue. If they don't count, then I'm going to need another 2 aquatic exhibits, and I might just have to cheap out and get something like tuna. Okay, we are actually making... Yeah, I think base, I think guests will pay $29 for entry fee, but they won't pay $49. I think that's just too much. Um, wow, actually, for the month of May, we have actually made a loss. Admittedly, we haven't made any money for donations yet, but... Uh, we've lost 3000 so far this month. Interesting to see how much we're making donations. Yeah. Because, like, for April, okay, we made a bit of money in recycling benefit, but we actually ended up making, like, four and a half thousand. Oh, okay, so May, 
maybe did actually end up turning a profit, but that's just due to donations. I mean, if we can get more benefactors come in, then that will obviously help us out. Guess how many this is? 71. Jeez. And also, to be fair, the Sea Lion show is basically sold out. Or almost sold out. Has anyone actually gone to the... Okay, the Dolphin show is running at the moment, but... People are going, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so ridiculous. There's loads of unhappy guests. There's loads of hungry, thirsty guests. Guests need the toilet. But, you know, there's like five eating places. One, two, three, four, five. But they're, this one's barely making a profit. Wow, okay. I'm seriously considering selling this Prairie Dog Cafe now. Yeah, I'm going to sell this Fairy Dog Cafe. It's gone. That is the first time, I think, I've ever had to sell an eating place, like a restaurant, because it's not making a profit. What is this scenario? It's ridiculous. People, people online say, like, oh, free admission is, like, the hardest scenario in the game. No, it's this one. This is horrible. The only benefit is that... Right, I'm going to change that. Has that made enough money yet? Yes, it has. Okay. I'm going to change this to infrequent. No, change it to infrequent. No, not never. Infrequent. Um, actually, I can also charge... I'm going to charge more as well. Um, just so it makes a bit more money. Because I figure that... If people want to go to the show, that's fine. And I am going to run the shows. Oh my god, guess how many is 66? People are furious. Lots of hungry guests, but... What do I do? Like, do I just build, like, burger stands and stuff? Maybe? I don't know. Like, if people don't want to go to the restaurants and stuff, what do I do? Do I build, like, Burger Sands and, you know, Nemo's Sub Shop? I know, to be fair, this actually, I've, I've had these before and they do actually make good money because they satisfy um, hunger and thirst. Although that then might require maintenance workers and trash cans and stuff like that. I'm going to build some fancy fancy restrooms. And then hopefully people won't need the toilet as much. Because all these guests are like, oh, I need the toilet, I need the toilet. Um, whether or not... I mean, this, this does actually cost us like $300 in upkeep. Whether or not they require a maintenance worker or not, I don't know. I don't think they do. 66, that is so low. Why are people not using these? I don't know. Um, oh, I've called that Sea Lion Tank by mistake. Sea Lion Show. Oh, Jesus. I think this is just like the AI getting seriously confused and being really stupid. People aren't using my toilets. What is wrong with my fancy toilets? Alright. Look at you, right? This zoo isn't all that great. Is it? This is so, so stupid. This is absolutely ridiculous. Also, I'm coming up to the two hour mark, so I'm going to have to end this soon. I 
I don't know if this scenario is really stupid or if I've done something massively wrong. I feel like it could be a bit of both. Looks like I need another maintenance worker as well. Because these filters are looking bad. It could be a bit of both, but... How is it that a zoo that charges nothing for admission makes more money and has really happy guests than this zoo we have guests needing the toilet but they're not using the toilet I cannot understand this at all. The only thing I can do would be to create like Zoo Tycoon exhibits. I mean, it's absolutely insane. All I need to do, technically, is just create as a, like create something similar to this for the sea otters. Get five hundred dollars. Hopefully, that will satisfy the six aquatic exhibits. But then I need guest happiness eighty-five. Now, how do I do that? Last month, two people went to the petting zoo. This month, one person has gone to the petting zoo. I think everybody... I think these shows are ridiculous because the guests just go to the show. So they're not going to anything else. Like, they're not going... The shark dolls make making this. They're not going to the animal houses or the petting zoo, or anything. The Japanese garden is just not getting used. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to turn these shows off. I don't know... <sighs> these shows are broken. They're just messing with the AI. The AI is like, there's a show on, I must go to it. And then they leave, and then for some reason they become really unhappy. And all of my guests become tired, they need the toilet. They need the toilet, but they're not using the toilet. Yeah, I've come up for the two hour mark, so I'm absolutely furious with how this is going. Right, I guess that ends part one. Um, so, yeah, see you in part two.